Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Game and I just want to do a quick update to let you know what as my channel is right now. So, I got all my birthday gifts except for one that's coming today later on this afternoon, which I'll do an unboxing of it. Uh, the yesterday, if you missed any videos, I had the Adventure Pop for PS4 up. I had Spell Spire for PS4 up, and I also uploaded the first episode of House of Danger board game session, and then today at 3 o'clock, the second episode will go up, and then tomorrow the third episode will go up, and I'm going to keep up, they'll keep uploading until I finish the first, cha uh, first chapter of this game. So if you guys want to see more of the uh, House of Danger board game, just give the videos a thumb up so I know to put more up. So uh, there's that. And my nephew's coming over tomorrow, so I might be doing some board games with him if he wants for me to record. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. <clears throat> but uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about House of Danger in a minute here. But uh, yeah, so I put up videos of my board uh, gifts from my friends and family and stuff like that. I'm still trying to sit through and find some old photos, old photos, old videos to get more birthday memories up on YouTube. Um, so there's that, and hopefully maybe play some, stream some more PS4 stuff tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm winging it and all that. But anyways, let's talk a little bit about House of Danger, the board game here. First off, I'm a big fan of the Choose Your Own Adventure books. House of Danger was one of the first um, Choose Your Own Adventure books that I they got and I got a couple other ones like a space vampire one or something. I can't remember. There, there, so I, I had so many of them. But they're a lot of fun. <clears throat> I usually got the sci-fi or the horror themed ones. Those were like the ones I really enjoyed <clears throat> the most. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, they did a really good job of capturing the Choose Your Adventures book into a board game format. Uh, essentially, instead of being a book, the they're just a whole bunch of cards, <clears throat> and you get uh, the little uh, tracker for your psych meter and the danger level. So it's kind of got like that. Um, it's uh, the um, that system that works like for Arkham Horror, where you know you need successes and stuff like that. So in this one, you start out with you need it's you got a 50/50 chance of beating um, a, ta a challenge in the game. And then if you get items, they increase it. But the thing is, using your items is risky because if you use your item and you roll one, you not only do you automatically fail the challenge, but you also lose that item and it's removed from the game. So you can't get it back. So there's that, okay, I need to use this item to increase my odds, but if I roll one, it's gone. So, I mean, and then your usually your danger meter will go up based on cards you pick might increase them. Sometimes when you you win a challenge, it'll lower your your thing, uh, your um, danger meter, or also increase your um, psychic meter. And your psychic meter basically plays an important part of this game because the higher it is, the more likely you're going to be able to see or get items in the game to help you uncover more of the story or be able to access areas you normally wouldn't be able to access. Um, <clears throat> but it does a really good job and it really branches out quite a bit. Um, so if you love Choose Your Own Adventure games, um, this is a no-brainer. If you're looking for an uh, introductory board game that has some story elements where you get to make decisions and stuff, this it's not overly complex, and uh, this is definitely it. But if you're looking for a game with really uh, deeper game mechanics, um, then you might be looking at some uh, story-driven games like Time Stories or perhaps Seventh Continent or Agents of Smirsh or Arkham Horror. But if you're looking for a good, simple pick-up-and-play board game with some really B-style retro nostalgic feels 
this is definitely definitely worth picking up. I had a lot of fun so far with what I've experienced, and we're gonna be playing this probably Sunday with my group of friends, and we're gonna go through maybe a chapter or two depending on how long it takes. But I also got some other games too, so it depends on how much time we have. But if we're short on time, this one takes about 20 minutes to get through the first chapter, maybe, maybe 30 minutes. It all depends on how fast you plow through it. But uh, I was taking my time going through this. I think it took about an hour. So, anyways, that's it. Um, you guys have a great day. Um, got content coming. Like I said, the second episode will be up in about an hour. And the third episode will be tomorrow. So, And then, like I said, if you like the uh, videos for the House of Danger, give it a thumbs up so I know. And I will continue to play through this game until I get to the fifth chapter, if you guys are so inclined to uh, watch it. But be warned, there is, like I said, I had to put a spoilers in it because this is my playthrough. And these are the, the choices I make and the things that happen. You'll know what they are. So if you don't want to be spoiled, then... You probably aren't going to want to watch this. So anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.